I'm gonna find. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. With the release of the much awaited The Last of Us 2, so much hate has been directed toward the story. Especially what they did to Joel, a playable character that has been loved by many gamers. Most arguments revolve around that Joel did not deserve to be killed off. This video will explore the actions of Joel that led to his death, looking at his dark days not covered by the first game, and his role in the Firefly Massacre. Before we begin, we publish gaming content every day so if you like what you see, like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so you will be informed if we upload any new videos. And of course, spoiler alert. It is but fitting oh no. to start with the death of Sarah. Sarah. The painful event that caused Joel to spin into the darkness. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts me. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. Right. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, babe. Don't do this to me, babe. Come on. No. No. No, 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 no. The events after the death of Sarah was not covered in The Last of Us 1. Although a glimpse of it could be deduced from Joel's conversation with Ellie. Fucking hunters. See, this could have been us. A lot of people that didn't make it. How did you know? Know what? About the ambush. I've been on both sides. Oh. So, uh, you kill a lot of innocent people? Uh. I'll take that as a yes. And Tommy, when he was a hunter. That girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. From what we can gather after the death of Sarah, Tommy and Joel stayed in one of the quarantine zones, but eventually left and became a hunter. And as a hunter, they have a tendency of brutally killing anyone entering their group's territory. That is why Joel is used to killing. Together with Tommy, their brutality has become too much for Tommy to bear. You said Tommy had a rough past, but fuck. I know. Are you okay? <sighs> it wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie, if I had my sister's killers tied to a chair, I'd do worse. I hear you. He left Joel and joined the, the uh, idealistic group of the Fireflies. Welcome to the Fireflies. Who hope to depose Fedra and the remaining military to restore the US federal government, hoping to restore normalcy in the post pandemic United States. Joel then returned to Boston quarantine zone and met Thess in 2033 and they became smugglers fast acting as brains of the operation and Joel as the muscle they have earned a ruthless reputation to the point that nobody dare cross them oh, hello Robert <laughs> Tess Joel no hard feelings right none at all, all right. God damn it! We missed you. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I just want to the say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? 
Yeah, sure, but it's complicated. Ah! Fuck. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold him. Didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I'd say you bet on the wrong horse. You just give me a couple of... <laughs> Who has our guns? It's the Fireflies. I owe the Fireflies. What? Come on. Yeah, fuck those Fireflies. Let's go get them. That is a stupid idea. During this time, both as hunter and smuggler, Joel killed ruthlessly and without remorse. Both the innocent and with provocation. Joel only changed his demeanor from the time he met Ellie until the Firefly Massacre at St. Mary's Hospital. Ellie became more than a job. He saw his dead daughter in Ellie again comparing her a couple of times with Sarah. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked her. Huh? I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. Let me see. And he just could not lose her again. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. What the hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Find someone else. There is no one else. Jesus. So you went into a rampage to doing? save Ellie. I won't let you take her. This don't. No! no! Fucking animal! Jerry, shut the hell up! So Joel, during his dark days, killed so many, some with reason and some without, so there would be a lot of people that might be coming after Joel, since he crossed a lot. But only Abby was determined to kill Joel, even after a few years, since she lost everything, her father, hope, even faith in humanity. You see, Joel was a monster. Although he changed for Ellie, his past caught up with him. Joel had to die. There was no way around it. Joel Miller. Say whatever speech you got rehearsed. Get this over with. Some critics complain that Joel shouldn't have died that brutally or early on in the game. But the brutality of his death is Abby's way of letting Joel feel the pain his actions caused her, robbing her of her father and her beliefs. And who she was. You stupid old man. You don't get to rush this. And it was done earlier in the game so that the revenge plot so that the revenge plot of Ellie could move forward. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Joel, please get up. No! 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 <laughs> You see, although uh, 
Joel changed and has mellowed down uh, in The Last of Us 2. The people that he have hurt has not forgotten what he did and hunted him down. Please don't just do Joel, please get up! No! 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 You still hear his screams? I hear them every night. Yeah. Yeah, that little bitch got what he deserved. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Have a good one.